Welcome. My name is Bob. And at Hope Community Church this week, we're following Jesus Christ to the cross. I'd like to read a little bit of scripture from Matthew chapter 26, starting with verse 6. While Jesus was in Bethany in the home of a man known as Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste, they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. I tell you the truth, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. What is Jesus uh, trying to tell us uh, here in this short passage? Um, I think he's talking about um, priorities. And I would like to take just a second and read a, a little bit here. In verse 11, Jesus says, For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not always have. Does this mean that Jesus does not value the poor? Of course not. We cannot use Christ's statement to neglect the poor or ignore the poor. We are given much instruction on our obligation to the poor. The Lord is making a statement about priority. The opportunity to anoint his living body with fragrant oil won't come again. What or who is the priority in your life, your family, your business? Have you placed the Lord at the top of your priority list? Have you made the conscious decision that you will place Jesus first in your life? Do you give the Lord or the work of the Lord? Or, or has giving always been something you push down the list time after time? You may think you have unlimited opportunities to give to the Lord or work of the Lord, but there will come a time when the opportunity no longer exists. Would you pray with me? Father God, we thank you for for the, the gift of your son. We thank you for uh, his obedience, his traveling and journey to the cross, Lord. Father, uh, may we take this time to reflect on our lives, Lord. Where do we hold our Savior in our lives? Where do we put Jesus, Lord? Uh, may we evaluate and, and look at our lives, and Lord, and, and see where we are, where we are sitting in this, uh, in this area, Lord. I pray that uh, we can take and use this as a reminder May it open our eyes and uh, may we always strive to put our Lord Jesus Christ at the very top of our priorities, Lord. And I pray this in Christ's holy name. Amen.